collections that he's going to be creating and because he's a marketer because he understands marketing be hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about something a little different you can see these two little fellows on the screen you might be thinking what is he into again and you know what this is called nfts these ones here are called zombie uh, Gen, um, Solana zombie business uh, nfts and we'll get into what are nfts and why would I even talk about this on the course income secrets um but I just wanted to cover this a little bit because it's becoming a lot lots of people are getting into it and you might be just wondering you know what is it why would I care and uh, what can I learn in just you know a few minutes so we're going to get into that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so yeah nfts mean non-fungible tokens now why do i talk about that because you can integrate nfts into anything you can even sell your courses as nfts if you wanted that's all possible and but we before we get into that i want to remind you if you're listening to the audio you're going to want to go check out the video at cis395.jsgagnon.com because I will be sharing my screen I will be showing you more about this and what are nfts and why you should at least learn about them all right so let's get right to it I'm going to share my screen I'm going to show you a site called a Solana so Solana is one of the places where you can find nfts now there's more than one it's called a marketplace and before we get into that let me just explain to you why this is even relevant to course income secrets to generating income from the e-learning boom one of the things is learning right for for one thing there's a lot of education and people are willing to pay to understand nfts because they know they will make money from it so if you can figure out how to generate income from nfts and you can create a course that explains that then definitely this would be a great you know topic to have as a course right there's there's lots of people out there but just like anything else uh, if you get in early you'll get a better uh better reach right okay so that's number one number two is you can even have your courses as nfts now I'm not saying that that's necessarily a good idea I don't know how many people if there's anybody even doing that yet but maybe you know and maybe I will look into that myself but the reason why I say it's possible is because an nft can be an image can be a video can be um anything that you want and you can even tie in uh, files and things like that to it uh, or uh, you can tie special privileges to it and things like that because nfts are something that is unique and owned by one person it's the difference between nfts and say cryptocurrencies cryptocurrencies is like it's like let's say you compare it to cash versus a painting right so cash you can have ten dollars in your pocket right and the other person have ten dollars in their pocket and you could swap those two ten dollars between each of you and you both would still have ten dollars right it's the same it's just a, a mark of value right cryptocurrencies are the same you can give one bitcoin to somebody and that bitcoin can be given back to you and it'll be this it or even you can get the bitcoin from somebody else you can swap bitcoins whatever it's a value right whereas nfts is a collectible it's a unique item now there's there's other things about nfts where you can have more than one edition but it's still number one of 10 or number two of 10 or whatever or you have just one unique nft the very more it's much more common to have a unique nft and when you look at a place like soul c you can see uh they, they obviously it's a marketplace so they're trying to get you to entice you to use it and entice you to you uh, go to these but I'm going to talk a little bit about well a couple things is first how do you get your nft using coinbase and what does it mean first to get an nft getting an nft means having it in your possession right it's owned by you because you own 
the wallet that it's in so if I show you a little bit if I go to my wallet here you can't see the icon but it's called the phantom wallet there's more than one wallet but basically what happens if you if I load it up here I'm just going to show you what it looks like and it shows you uh, you can have multiple currencies right now just have Solana Solana is the currency that you use to buy nfts there's other currencies that support um, nfts as well but in this case we're talking about Solana we're talking about SoulSea SoulSea is the sea of soul nfts if you will it's one of the most popular ones and it's also uh, one of the one of the well if it's it's one of the uh, uh, first ones that uh, came out in terms of marketplaces okay so here's the thing if I click on this little icon down here it shows me the nfts I have in my collection which are you know nfts I bought right so why did I buy these we'll get into that in a second but that's basically what it is it shows me that I have these um, zombie businesses like the ones I showed you earlier it's on the other screen but the ones I showed you earlier with was these ones um actually I have uh this is the one I showed you earlier this one here which is a it's called well anyways we're not gonna I'm not gonna get into the whole uh, how um it's all um there's 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 attributes and things like that anyways we'll get into that afterwards but let's just kind of show you okay so the first thing you got to do okay so you let's say you want to have an nft you just want want to have one because everybody's talking about it you're thinking you know what I should at least have one right just to kind of understand how it works and this is one of the things is that I've been resisting that for a long time because I'm like well whatever it's just this fad it's this thing but really it's not a fad it's actually happening it's becoming enough and that's only because I kind of uh, went to some training and I listened to somebody talking about it he's actually uh releasing these nfts and he's a marketer so he's doing a really good job of making it come out there and making people realize it and making his nft become you know the next big thing and actually let me just kind of show you that it's called a zombie x zombie x zombie x and basically he's saying that it's going to be the next one on a blue chip and there's a uh, different uh, different ones he released the Genesis zombies that are all sold out I actually bought a couple of those too um and the idea is that you buy it and you can resell it sure you can list it you can buy it and then list it so that somebody buys it that you know a little bit uh, of a profit or even double your money that kind of stuff that's all possible I'm not saying this is not financial advice I can't guarantee that I'm just saying that's that happens it's possible and then there's the Solana zombie business ones and then there's he's going to have the dead presidents later on these are three collections that he's going to be creating and because he's a marketer because he understands marketing because he understands how these um how the NF nft mind or the collector mind works he's gonna he's actually done a really great job like like he said I, I don't know if it says right here but his uh sold out uh, doesn't say how long it took but it didn't take very long to sell these out and um and yeah so that's that's just one collection right it's a website for this particular collection the zombie X but that's not why I um, I'm only showing it to you because I want you to see that there's some uh possibilities in here right in terms of nfts and getting them is you've got to understand that they are something that actually is valid right it's it's a nfts are uh, one of the things that are going to get better going to grow it's going to be just more and more and more and at the same time the more there are the harder it is to get something that's actually good right so but that's kind of how it is nfts are the future for lots of things all right so coinbase I was talking about the first thing you got to do okay so number one let's actually I actually forgot to create a folder here let me just uh I'll be right back okay there you go so I wanted to create that text file okay so here's what you need to do so what do you need to do what do you need to do to get your first nft right so the and this is the thing it's it's not that complicated but it's also not that simple because it's something that you probably never did before and even me that's been in crypto I was in crypto in 2017 for for like almost a year I was really kind of heavily into it and so I learned a lot about uh, Bitcoin about cryptocurrencies and all that and nfts is just another cryptocurrency uh well not not in the itself it's a 
uh, the cryptocurrency you need a cryptocurrency to buy NFT I guess is my point so number one you need to buy soul and like I said this is if you're going to be buying it on soul C which is the soul one of the one of the biggest soul marketplaces right so you need to buy soul cryptocurrency cryptocurrency number two you need whoops you need a wallet to hold your soul your cryptocurrency right now I use as phantom and the I need I bought this cryptocurrency I actually bought it from two different places but I'm going to show you how to uh, buy on coinbase because coinbase is pretty pretty well known and it's 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 available for most countries right so that, that's that's the other thing you might not be able to buy this in your country you'll have you might have to go through hoops or whatever and I'm not suggesting this because legally I can't tell you to go do it you know in a backwards way it's obviously not something that I would recommend um but some people do that right they'll go and they get a friend in another country and do things like that right but anyways so but you need to have the sole currency otherwise you can't hold your nft your nft goes in your soul wallet which means you need a soul currency which and to have a soul currency you need a soul wallet right okay so number one uh let's actually go back here and say okay well I guess you need us to buy soul currency so so that means a so set up account on coinbase now obviously coinbase is a referral system so I'm actually going to put in here the link to my coinbase referral um over here actually to uh, invite friends so this is the link here so I'm going to copy this and I'm actually going to put that in here so use my link if you like me obviously otherwise just go to coinbase.com so this will be my this is my link and uh, you can also use I think I might have but anyways that's the link there so get that set up and you'll get free ten dollars uh us well 12 seven for Canadian um and I get that too so we each get that if you uh, invest at least a hundred dollars uh us <laughs> in Bitcoin uh, it's, it's, I don't know if it's just I guess it's yeah any amount, <laughs> any amount of currencies as long as you spend at least a hundred dollars us currencies you get a 12 a ten dollar us uh, credit and I get that too so that's it's a win-win right okay so how does it work so first when you first go to coinbase and you register your account you need to get verified getting verified is just a pretty standard process basically it asks you for uh, your name and address it's asks you for a picture of your driver's license and a selfie picture and things like that and you just have to do that you go through it and then it's done and then within a day or two they verify you now if you make it make a mistake or maybe the image is blurry they might reject you have to submit a new one but it's pretty straightforward the reason why they do that is because the government <laughs> wants these companies to know who the people are so it prevents money laundering that kind of stuff so it's very safe you don't have to worry about you know this is not a scam these sites are actually le legitimate and coinbase is one of the ones that's been around for a long time it's been around for I don't know probably 10 years but I know I've been using it for a long time if I look if I look at my see if I look at my did you do where is that is that over here under here reports I'm not sure I'm trying to see because I haven't been on there for a while and just came on not long ago I want to see if I can see my where's my my history or something right I don't know maybe it's under here in the reports uh transaction history there you go okay generate report all assets all time generate oh ah, I don't know this will be interesting to see <coughs> oh I guess I won't see it maybe we'll see it after but anyways I bought Bitcoin I bought Ethereum I bought Litecoin back in the day when they only had these four assets right um and what's is it going to email it to me or something uh, let's just reload the page see if it shows up as a link or something I've never done this before so I don't really know uh, maybe they sent it to me in an email let's go see my emails no I don't know I don't know where it is but anyways okay whatever we'll see <laughs> try and generate report 
oh there it is download okay so if I download this I'm just curious to see oh there it is look at that so it shows me transactions I would have liked to see a graph or something but this shows me all the transactions of how much I spend right 34 16 dollars 68 whatever 200 dollars I spent more as I got more comfortable with it um and I'm not sure if, does it show a total anywhere anyways I guess you'd have to add it up but you see this was 2017 right 2017 11 2017 December so but anyways that's 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 how long I've been using this cryptocurrency this um, coinbase so how does it work okay so after you're verified you just go and you can click on buy or sell right here so this first thing you got to do you got to get some sole currency so it's really simple you just put in here the what you want to buy I'm not going to buy bitcoin this this time I'm actually going to go sol so solana I want to buy some solana I'm going to put I don't know 150 dollars okay so then of course you have to have a credit card set up that allows for crypto this is one of the things that I find the most annoying is that you put a credit card in there and most of them they'll all say your bank has disabled cryptocurrency purchases and you can't use it for that you have to call your bank and say hey you know what I want to buy cryptocurrencies please enable it on my card it's really annoying um but I you might find one of your cards that's already that's enabled I don't know about um uh, I don't know about that uh, for the U.S. or but in Canada I guess at least for me I was able to use my debit visa card for my bank which basically is ends up being an interact purchase and that worked without me having to call the bank or anything so now I can just go like this I say preview buy which kind of lets you see what you're going to spend how much it's going to be uh the, the there's a coinbase fee as well so they take a percentage of the purchase and then you just click on the buy and it'll and it's as you can see it's this change right that's because as we wait the price it keeps going up and down of the cryptocurrency that's why it's changing here a little bit so when I click on the buy now it'll buy it at whatever the price is when I click the button which changes how much soul I get right see 122 42 <laughs> 42 46 right so it's going up I guess maybe it'd be going down but you know it doesn't change that much within a few minutes but you click on this and that'll actually do the transaction and it'll put the the um the sole currency in your crypt in your coinbase wallet now your coinbase wallet you see how it's successfully purchased now now your coinbase wallet is not uh, I don't know if you can but I I don't think you can but it's not where you would hold your um where you would hold your nfts so you need to have the soul to buy the nfts once you have the soul bought out in coinbase you can then transfer it to your uh wallet so now here's the other thing let me just uh disconnect my wallet okay so now once you um here's how it works so connect wallet you you have a choice right here you can have different there's different uh, wallets I used phantom wallet so that's the second thing you got to do right so number one you need to get your sol currency so I got well, I just bought that right now to show you how that works and then you need a wallet to hold your sol currency I'm going to use phantom I'll kind of show you how to do that so you just go into soul c right so let's just do that so a go to soul c.io right it's soulc.io make sure you go to soulc.io not soulc.com or any other soulc.net or whatever I don't know there's probably scams out there so just make sure you go into soulc.io and make sure you're on there okay so number two and then be a click on whoops click on connect wallet <laughs> so if you click on connect wallet phantom right here um oh actually I already have it so it's already connected but when you first do it what it'll do I wonder if I can't show you on a let's try to show you on an incognito window if it'll do the same thing here if I go like this so we'll see that io right if I go connect wallet phantom ah there you go okay so if you don't have it installed yet it'll take you to this page where you can click on download so you can either have you can actually install this wallet on an iPhone or on the chrome extension they don't have an android but 
you know if you're going to be doing this you're probably going to be doing it on your computer um instead of your phone but still if you do it on your phone and you've got an, and, uh, an apple phone you can actually use this so but you click on the download right here and then it'll either download for the app store or you can click on chrome or one of the browsers right you can use multiple different browsers so if you click on this it'll uh, go to the um, extension and because I'm inside of Cognito it tells me this but normally you would be able to just click on install it right now it says remove because I already have it installed once you've installed it <laughs> once you've installed it you have to create initialize your wallet which um you you'll it'll just show a pop-up I'm just going to close this here it'll just show a pop-up uh you'll have a little icon show up right on this on the top right there right well actually it'll be in the list here and then you're gonna have to and if you want it to show up on the side you gotta enable little the little um, pin right here so that it stays on because if, if I take it off it goes away right if I click on this it makes it show up on the very top of, of the list and then once it's there you just click on it you just click on it to load up your wallet now in my case because I already have set up the first thing it'll do it'll ask you for a password so and then once you have it uh you'll have a zero balance it'll look like this you can have you can actually have more than one wallet by the way so uh, it'll look like this when you first go to it because it'll have zero balance right <laughs> so if we can let it load there you go see solana zero so the default is solana in the in the phantom and right now it says I have zero I don't know what this is managed token list but anyways so I have a Solana and if I click on this it'll show me I have no collections because it's a new address and if I want to uh let's say I want to send that money so okay so now you have your wallet set up and you've got it connected to the to coin to the um oh right oh that's perfect okay, because I have two different wallets in my Solana uh, in my phantom app I have two different wallets I, now I can connect the either one right so if I connect this one this is kind of what you're going to do when you first do it you're going to connect the wallet you go like this and now if I go to the wallet it says I have zero soul I have no nfts nothing nothing it's all going to be oh why is it sure it shouldn't be reload your wallet that's because it's connecting to my other wallet my listed my nfts this must be a bug but if I go back here wallet two okay I wonder why that's disconnect wallet let's start connecting it again connect wallet phantom and now it's connected okay go to my nfts in my wallet not a valid account so they must have uh, they must have a bug when you have more than one wallet so if I disconnect the wallet here disconnect it and then I'm going to go back to my first so but the point is that once you have <clears throat> I connect this one this is my main wallet that have my nfts in it right so if I go to it you're going to see that I have a certain balance right now 0. 0.5 or something uh, 0. 0.4 soul and that I have these nfts in it right so that's kind of shows you what I have uh but if now I now if I go back here and I connect the wallet it'll be it'll work right I can go to my list and then if these in my wallet and that doesn't give me the weird error right so the same thing as I that's the same thing as I see when I go to the wallet itself here and I go to the um to the assets list right here right so that's the asset list right there okay so okay so now we've done these two things we've gotten your wallet set up connected your wallet number three you need to send funds to your phantom wallet 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 from coinbase okay so you've got funds in your coinbase now and now you got to send it to your phantom wallet because without that you won't be able to buy an nft on solsi so this is how it works so you go to your coinbase well first you got to go well I guess we go to coinbase here you can open up your phantom wallet and I'm not going to put it on the second one I'll just put it in the first uh you could choose one or the other right but I, I'm going to go like this you click on the Solana actually the Solana which will say zero in your case right you click on this and then you click on the deposit button and that'll give you the address of your wallet this is a public address so don't worry about 
you seeing mine the worst you can do with this is send me some soul which obviously uh that would be awesome <laughs> so you can't steal anything if even if people see this they can't steal anything um so don't worry about that so now what you do is once you're here you can either use your phone if you're using coinbase app on your phone you could actually send it from there by just taking a picture or pointing your camera at that but in on the desktop you're gonna have to do this like this you, you copy the address by clicking here then you go back to coinbase here and you go here send receive <clears throat> and then you say send I want to send my Solana right to this address here I'm going to paste the address right here and I'm going to say send all just send it all I don't need it in coinbase I just want to send it to my Solana wallet <laughs> so by the way there's always a little transaction fee whenever you send it from one place to another so don't do it multiple times just do it like this so once you do this I click on continue right here then it's gonna I think it's gonna send me a, some sort of notification then I gotta do this uh, send now <clears throat> and then I have to go did I get a code on my phone I just got to put that code in here and this is a one-time code so you'll get that through your phone confirm and then it's going to send it that's really that simple that's as simple as that now the one now the soul is sent to my other wallet now if I go back to my uh my phantom wallet I click on this you can see now it's, instead of 0.4 it's going to be whatever I sent there one point probably I don't know how much I sent was it I don't know we'll see so this might take a moment to refresh mm -mm -mm. so the transaction has to you know show up it takes not that very long so it takes a few seconds it says so there you go c1.5 so now that's in my wallet okay so now <laughs> now comes the interesting part you know buying a uh so as um buying a nft so the first thing is if you go to say the zombie x1 right you can actually go here and you can actually click on this solana business zombie right here it'll take you to the soul solana um actually where, where it says right here buy from does it say where's the buy up top oh right here buy on soul see right here sorry I clicked the wrong link but this if you click on that it takes you to the 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 collection on on soul see so the way it works is you want to look see how you can see the these are the prices right 88 222 70.6 5.0.38.19 so one thing you want to do <laughs> um is buy low and sell high just like any other uh you know asset why would you buy one of these what well, one of the things is it's how can I put it this is like I said it's a, a, um, a marketer who's promoting this he knows how the market works he knows how it all works so he's he's basically saying buy these and hold on to them for like six months a year when the price goes up so how does that work so <clears throat> well let's just buy one to kind of show you how to work so if I click on this one here which is 0.19 which is the lowest priced one here I just click on it and then I can just say buy nft by clicking this button here and then it'll just pop up my wallet because I'm connected to this it'll show me the transaction it'll tell me how much it'll be and then what I'm buying I click on approve and that usually works sometimes there's an error but uh, let's hope this works this time but it basically just waits for the transaction to be confirmed on the blockchain and then after that's there uh this changes to congratulations you bought it well, it looks like it might not be working sometimes I don't know why that, that comes up with this error after 30 seconds saying couldn't confirm it so they're not sure if it went through or not which you know is kind of uh, sad <laughs> like this see this happens so I'm going to reload it and try again and let's see let's try this buy it again <clears throat> I'm gonna try it again hopefully this will work this time and just approve it and then hopefully this will work and this is the thing you probably shouldn't be doing what I'm doing here because you might end up doing more than one transaction I'm not sure but this one isn't working I guess so let's just go I'm just gonna go show you how you find NFTs to buy or at least what I've done and I'm not saying this is the best way to do it or the only way to do it there's lots of 
lots of research you probably should be doing to make sure that you're buying the right thing <clears throat> there's a few things to watch out for oh and by the way uh, this still didn't work by the way you'll end up with things on your wallet that are like what is this um I I've been told that there's there's ways that people can create these and dump them in your wallet and they are not they're like trojan horses or something and so I'm not sure if this this is this might be one so I'm not going to click it apparently if you click it and it's a trojan horse it empties your wallet which I obviously don't want it to do that it'll take my soul and my nfts out of my wallet and I'll lose them right so I don't want to do that so I'm not going to click that I don't know what it is maybe as I learn more I'll figure it out <clears throat> but for now I'm just telling you be careful don't click things on here that you didn't buy that you don't know what where they came from and uh yeah so that stay safe okay so now how do you navigate on Solsi so let's talk about a few things first of all when you click on the Solsi logo you go to the main home page their marketplace right now obviously you can click around and look at things there's a few things to note here you're going to see the number of listed items in the collection you're going to see the floor which means the lowest priced item so you see these are 1.23 0.2.05 so you can I don't know about you but I bought a bunch of very low low priced nfts just as a speculation because uh if, but how do you how did I choose and I'm not saying again I'm not saying this is the best way to do it but how did I choose them I basically I basically went and I got on to I went to the collection itself I go on this for example then I go to one of these 0.05.5 I don't know this 0.05 I'm going to look at this and I'm going to look at the um creator so I looked at the creator I looked at the collections and I saw whether they had more than one collection if they have only one collection I might not have bought it some of them I did still but whatever that so the idea is go to collections explore collections then you can say listed at least 100 nfts and I want to sort by uh let's say so this is let's say the likes let's say sort by the number of likes going down so that means the first at the top of the list will be the most likes 10,000 1,000 1,000 1, right <clears throat> so this one here is a floor of 0.15 so if I go check it out I can see that they have a whole bunch of these uh, here but what is this let's look at one of them this is 2.5 this is 0.15 okay that's the floor price this is some creator it's it's not an account on the platform so I kind of state wonder about it but the other thing you got to make sure is that they are a verified collection so verified by Solsi and also the actual nft itself is verified by Solsi so then let's just let's just buy this why not to show you 0.15 is is pretty cheap so I'm just going to see if this one works I'm going to click on approve here so both the collection is verified and the nft is verified those are two things that you can kind of at least it's um, a collection that is you know verified it's not a fake or something right um, there's other things to watch out for right see there you go so now once you bought it it goes like this congratulations and if I go back to the actual item itself uh where is it is it this I don't know I think it's this one there you go so once I bought it the, the download button shows up that I can actually download it and it also shows that I bought it here and if I go to my wallet my nfts in my wallet now I see it down in the list of nfts I got it right here right it's right over here okay so now I'm not saying to just buy randomly like this like I just did but this is one way and the other thing is if you look at the listed um, nfts um and I go kind of by the uh, I was I have been buying super low price things like business dogs there's 42 of them so the other thing you can do too is when you look at it right you can see the floor this is the floor right here um 0.10 this looks like so this one here is 0.10 no it's not so here's a few other things I wanted to show you no not create collections so um yeah so if I go let's look at actually you know what let's go to the 
listed NFT sort by volume going down so the highest volume one is okay let's look at this for example flippies the floor is 0.47 all right so the flippies here is one of the collections that's on there that has lots of volume you can see right here the volume 6.79 soul 6.79 k soul and they still have a floor of 0.47 right so that means that they're they're really active lots of people are buying it whether it's uh you can click on activity here you can kind of see the price the the transactions going through right 0 0.5 0 0.75 0 0.5 0 0.49 0 0.50 0 0.1 0 0.10 1.0 0 0.87 so if I look at this for example this one here that was bought for a dollar I can go here and I can see the transaction 1 2.5 2.45 2.10 right so I can see the transactions that are going on there's also these rarity ranks and rarity scores this number here I don't know I'm still not sure how the number is you know um measured what does 36 mean right is it is it 36 times more rare than the than the least rare one in the list is it 36 out of 100 like I don't really know yet I'm, I'm still trying to figure that out <laughs> but obviously a higher number is better the rarity rank is where does it rank in the list of the collection is it number one in the collection or number 10,000 in the collection right so I'm not sure this is near the near the bottom I guess it's 897 of 10,000 unique flippings right uh what else what else I gotta I will have to go to work here to my <laughs> so I'm almost I'm gonna have to let, complete this but this is basically you know when you explore you can look at the stats too if you look at the stats you can see the top collections and like I said the Solana zombie business is really doing amazing it's uh number six now it was actually number two earlier today and by volume and by sales by sales it's number one <laughs> it's number one by number of sales that's insane that's insane look at that that's what I was talking about this guy knows what he's talking about so that would definitely be one that I would recommend you buy uh just look at one uh, the floor price look at the floor price right now is 0.2 so you can actually get them at 0.2 or sometimes like there was one at 0.19 I guess that's gone now but yeah so that's kind of how you uh buy your very first NFT on Soulsea and Coinbase hopefully you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next episode this has been Course Income Secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.